everyone. Welcome to Yoga for All. My name is Barry. Let's come to a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Rest your hands down anywhere that feels comfortable for you on your knees and your lap. Just start to turn your awareness inwards. Just start with taking a few moments of mindful awareness. Letting go of our usual worries or problems. giving ourselves permission to be fully present, be here, right now. We start to bring our awareness to our breath. Begin to notice every inhalation and every exhalation. No need to force the breath or change it in any way. Just observe. Perhaps the breath is cooler as you inhale and warmer as you exhale. Perhaps the breath is deep. Perhaps the breath is shallow. No judgment, no expectations. Just allow it to be however it is. And we'll press our palms together at the center of our heart. And take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Perhaps intending to remain mindful throughout our whole practice. Perhaps to connect with the feeling of inner peace, both for our own benefit as well as for the benefit of all others. Hold this intention in the space of your heart. Allowing a feeling of happiness to wash over you. And take one more moment here to call to mind something you're grateful for today. Resting in the space of gratitude. Letting it bring a feeling of happiness. Gratitude for all we have. And hold this feeling in the space of your heart throughout our practice today. Let's take a deeper breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, gently open your eyes. Good, release your hands down by your side. We'll begin just bringing some gentle movement into our body. So let's inhale and reach your arms up overhead, press your palms together. Exhale, lower your hands down. Again, inhale, reach your arms up, press your palms. Exhale, lower down. Let's take one more. Inhale, arms reach up. 
and exhale, lower your right arm down. Inhale to reach up taller through your left arm, and as you exhale, start to crawl your right arm out to the side and bend down to the right. Just feeling a nice stretch across your whole left side, opening up through your ribs. Look towards your left hand, just easing into our bodies today. Good, on your next inhale, rise back up. And exhale there. Beautiful, inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, crawl your left arm out to the side, start to bend down to the left. Good, look towards your right hand and really stretch into your whole right side. Maybe one side feels different from the other, and it's normal. Good, inhale, let's rise all the way back up. And exhale there. Let's come onto all fours, tabletop position. Hands come under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and we start taking cat cows. Inhale, arch your back, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. And inhale, arch, look up. And exhale, tuck your tailbone. And we can take a few more like this at your own pace. Inhaling as you arch your back, open your chest. Exhale to tuck your tail. Look down. And take one more here. Just opening up, articulating through your whole spine. Inhale to come back to neutral. As you exhale, start to bend side to side, looking over your shoulder, back towards your toes. Again, working at your own pace, inhaling to go through center, exhaling to bend to the side. You can wag your tail gently side to side. Good. Take one more on each side. And we can start to circle through our whole bodies here. Close your eyes and just feel the movement. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Right? Just give yourself permission to feel and move in a way that feels good for you. And take one more here. And reverse your circles the other way. Deep breaths all the way around. You can really articulate through your shoulders, your spine, your head and neck. Just take one more here. Inhale, so come back to neutral position. And exhale in your tabletop. Inhale to reach your right arm up, open your heart, to look up to your hand. And exhale, we thread the needle, lower your right arm down under the left. Just take your right ear, right shoulder to the floor. And you can use your left hand to push and stack your left shoulder back more on top of the right. And you can stay here or crawl your left hand out over your head. Or take your left hand behind your back and that will really allow you to open up through your shoulders more. And you can stay here, or if you want to try a little balance today, you can extend your left leg back behind you, engage through your core, pull your lower belly in, and maybe float the left leg up a little bit. Good. It's just optional. Just if you want to try to fire up your core. Go ahead and let's exhale, release, lower the left leg back down. Inhale, reach your right arm back up. 
Extend your right leg back. Coming to our gate pose. Inhale, reach through your right fingertips. And as you exhale, open your arm back behind you. Look up to the ceiling. Just let it all go. And exhale, come back to your tabletop position. Other side, inhale, left arm sweeps up. Exhale, thread it through to the right. So lower your left shoulder and ear to the floor. Right shoulder stacked on top of the left. And again, you can push away from the floor. And you can stay here or crawl your right arm out overhead. Or take your hand behind your back. Open your shoulders. Stay here, or again, if you want to take that challenge, extend your right leg back behind you. Engage through your pelvic floor, your mula bandha, and your low belly, and maybe float the right leg up a little. Just see where you're at today. And then exhale, slowly release the right leg down. Inhale, left arm reaches back up towards the ceiling. Extend your left leg back. Open your gait. Good. Inhale, reach up tall through the left arm. Exhale, open the left arm. Look up towards the ceiling. Open your hips and shoulders. And exhale, come back to your neutral tabletop position. Good. From here, let's tuck your toes under. Float your knees just a few inches off the floor. Start to fire up through your low belly. Suck your belly button into your spine. And as you exhale, find your downward dog, reach your heels towards the floor. Let's walk it out. First downward dog of the day, bend one knee and then the other. Just easing into this downward dog. Usually the first, first one or few downward dogs of your day might feel pretty intense. So just gently ease your way into it, pedaling your feet, lifting one heel and then the other. Maybe you want to take it to a little twist, sending your knee around to the opposite side. That can feel good on your low back. A little easy twist. Good. Just take one more on each side. And as you exhale, find a place of stillness for a moment. You can shake your head, yes and no. Good, and then inhale, reach your right leg up towards the ceiling. A three-legged dog, doesn't have to be too high. Bend your knee and stack your right hip on top of the left. Or just circle the right hip. Circle the other way. On your next inhale, reach your right leg back up towards the ceiling. Square your hips to the floor. And exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. You might need to take a few steps to get there. Lower your left knee down. Untuck your toes. Keep your chest connected to your front thigh. Just relax here for a moment. Really, really let yourself hang. You're welcome to use the blocks here underneath your hands if that helps you reach the floor better, if that creates a little more space. Deep breaths. Good. On your next inhale, start to walk your hands up. Maybe take your hands to a prayer position. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. And you can stay here or tuck your back toes under. Float your back knee up and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Going to a high crescent lunge. Beautiful. And exhale, lower your hands and knee back down. Slowly with control. Untuck your toes, shift your hips back and flex your right foot, come to a half split. Blocks are a good option here too if you're using them. You can take your hands to the blocks. Good. Reach your toes back towards your nose. You're welcome to keep a slight bend behind the right knee. Good. 
the exhale come back to your low lunge let's bend your left foot and reach around to take it in your right hand good so today we're going to work towards a dancer's pose so we're going to do a lot of stretches before that and poses to open up through our hip flexors let's take one more breath here Good. Exhale, come back to your low lunge. Inhale, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee. And exhale, step back to your downward dog. Take a moment here. Deep breath in through your nose. Full breath out. Inhale, left leg reaches up to your three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your left hip on top of the right. And just circle it out. Maybe circle the other way. Inhale, square your hips, reach your left leg back up to your three-legged dog. Exhale, pull your knee to your chest and step your foot between your hands. Again, maybe it takes a few steps, that's all right. Lower the right knee down, untuck your toes. Shift your hips forward and down. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Just chill, All right? No pressure, All right? So allow yourself to relax over the front leg for now. I want you to really sink your hips into the floor. So notice if you're holding tension in your hips, right? See if you can sink a little bit lower towards the floor. Really open up through your right hip flexor. And then you can stay here or start to walk your hands up. And maybe take your hands to a prayer position. Engage through your low belly, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. And then maybe tuck your right toes under, float your right knee up, and reach your arms up high. Spread your fingers open through your chest. And exhale, slowly lower your hands, lower your knee. Untuck your toes, shift your hips back. And maybe you wanna take the blocks for your half split. So just take your hands to the blocks to bring the floor a little bit closer to you. Just optional, reach your toes back towards your nose. If you feel like you can go deeper, just walk your hands further away and your hips further back. Good, one more inhale. Exhale back to your low lunge. Good, inhale, pick up the right foot. Maybe you can reach around and take the foot in your left hand. Good. Try not to be directly on top of your right knee, a little bit above the knee. So you're more on your thigh. Good. One more inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. Come back to your low lunge. Inhale. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your back knee up. And exhale. Step back to your downward dog. Beautiful. Inhale, rise to your toes. Look forward towards your hands and step your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Keep your feet separated, hips width apart, and inhale. Come to your fingertips, reach out through the crown of your head. Exhale, fold down. You can keep a soft bend in your knees, just ragdoll and hang over your legs. You can gently sway side to side, relax your shoulders. Maybe take opposite elbows like you're cradling a baby. Shake your head, yes and no. Stay for one more full round of breath. And on your next inhale, lengthen halfway up. Heel toe your feet together. As you exhale, pull your belly in and fold all the way down over your legs. 
Inhale, bend your knees and start to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing your head up last. And standing up tall, coming to your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Close your eyes for a moment, roll your shoulders back, spread your fingers wide, palms face forward. And just feel yourself rooting into the earth, strong like a mountain. Your big toes, little toes and heels pressing into the floor. Your kneecaps lifted into your thighs. Your pelvic floor is pulled in and engaged. Lower belly is pulled in. Your chest is soft, shoulders back. Take a moment here to remember your intention from the beginning of our practice. Take your hands to prayer. Call to mind one more thing you're grateful for today. And let's enjoy our practice. Gently blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen, lift halfway up. Exhale, step back to a high plank. Inhale, roll your shoulders over your wrists. And exhale, bend your elbows, come to a chaturanga, or you can lower all the way down, lower your knees and chest, or even your belly all the way down to the floor. Any variation that feels best for you today. Inhale, lift your chest, come to a cobra, or lift your knees and thighs for an upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, come back to a downward dog. Let's hold this downward dog for a few breaths, inhaling fully through your nose. Exhale completely out your nose. You can still keep a slight bend in your knees if you need to. Maybe your heels don't quite reach the floor. Just be happy wherever you're at right now. One more full deep breath in. And full breath out. Inhale, rise to your toes, look forward, walk, step, or jump your feet to the top of your mat. Rise halfway up. Exhale, belly button to spine as you fold all the way back down. Inhale to rise all the way up. Reach your hands together overhead. And as you exhale, let's fold straight back down to the floor. Inhale, head up. Exhale, step back, high plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, your version of Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Beautiful. Exhale, downward dog. So your feet are separated, hips width apart, your toes and heels are in one line. Try to reach your sit bones towards the ceiling and keep your shoulders down your back. One more breath here. Full breath out. Inhale, rise to your toes, look forward, walk, step or jump your feet to your hands, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale to rise up, press your palms, look to your thumbs. Exhale, go straight back down one last time. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, step or jump back to your version of Chaturanga. Elbows tuck into your sides. Inhale, upward facing, doing great. Exhale, downward facing. Good. Start to think about reaching your heels towards the floor, maybe lifting your kneecaps into your thighs. Try to shift more weight back towards your heels, taking less weight out of your arms. Inhale, rise to your toes, look forward, step or jump your feet to your hands and lift halfway. 
Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, rise up, press your palms together. Exhale, lower your hands to prayer. Close your eyes for another moment. Just check in with your body, check in with your mind. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Be calm, yes. Gently blink your eyes open. Release your arms down by your sides, Tadasana position. And inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink your hips towards your heels, press your palms, look up to your thumbs. Hold this position for a moment. Really squeeze your inner thighs together. Sink your hips a little bit lower, maybe smile. Exhale, fold all the way down, straight legs. Inhale, head up. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Good, inhale, spin your left heel out 45 degrees and step your right foot in between your hands, deep bend in your right knee. Let's rise up to a warrior one. Press your palms together. Look to your thumbs. Deep breath here. Reach up a little bit taller. And exhale. Let's interlace your fingers behind your back. Stay in your warrior one. Roll your shoulders back. Open through your chest. Lengthen your arms. Exhale. Bow forward to a humble warrior. Taking your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Good, keep the deep bend in your right knee as you rise up to a warrior two position and exhale there. Look over your right hand, maybe sink a little bit deeper in your right knee. You should feel your thighs shaking. Try to catch a glimmer of light on one of your fingernails, maybe on your ring if you're wearing one. Inhale, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling and flip, reach back to reverse your warrior. Reach back, beautiful. Exhale, take your right forearm to your right thigh, sweep your left arm over your ear for an extended side angle. And you can stay here or lower your right hand down to the outside of your right foot or to a block. Keep spinning your chest open towards the ceiling. Maybe you want to take a bind, left hand behind your back, right arm through, if that's available for you. Up to you, beautiful, nice job. Good. On your next inhale, release your bind. Rise all the way up with straight legs. Beautiful. Turn all ten toes to the left side of your mat. Pigeon toe your feet. Toes point in, heels point out. Exhale, take your hands to your waist. Inhale, pull your belly button to your spine. Exhale, hands to the floor in between your feet. Wide legged forward fold. Prasarita Padottanasana. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown of your head. Exhale, bend your elbows and lower your head to the floor or towards the floor. If it doesn't touch, it's fine. Don't worry. Maybe if you, your head touches the floor, you can walk your hands a little bit further back and shift more weight to the balls of your feet. So we're trying to take the weight out of our heels and just lengthen your breaths. Good. Inhale, lift halfway up. Reach your right arm up and look to your right hand. Good. Exhale, lower your right hand back down. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Open up to your left hand. Good. Exhale, both hands come back down. Take your hands to your hips. And rise all the way back up with straight legs if you can. Good. Turn your right toes to face the top of your mat. Extend your arms out to a T. We exhale, reach down 
to our Trikonasana Triangle Pose. So your right hand can come to your right leg or to a block. Right. Whatever is better for you. You want to keep spinning your chest up towards the ceiling, reaching out long through your right arm, your left arm, lifting up away from the right arm. Good. And now let's come to a half moon pose. So shift your gaze over your right toes. You can take your block or your fingertips a few inches in front of your right foot. Shift more weight into your right leg and float the left leg up. It's just optional. So if it's not working today, just try. Or you can just stay in your triangle. Okay. Now let's try a sugar cane. Bend your left knee and reach around to catch your left foot. Right, so we're working this pose today. So you're pushing your foot into your left hand and you're pushing your left hand into your foot. So you're working opposite direction. Just try. Beautiful. And as you exhale, let's release the leg, lower back down into your warrior two. Exhale, settle back into your warrior two. How'd that go? <laughs> Good. If you tried, it went well. Inhale, let's reach back. Reverse your warrior one more time. Exhale, cartwheel your hands over your right foot. And you can take a vinyasa or just step back to, chatter, to downward dog. So either take your chaturanga to upward dog and downward dog or just meet us in a downward dog. Good. Stay in your down dog for a breath. If you need to take a child's pose, that's always an option to rest. We'll take the other side. Inhale, spin your right heel 45 degrees. Step your left foot in between your hands. Deep bend in your left knee. Rise up to your warrior one. See if you can press your palms, look up to your thumbs, keep your shoulders relaxed. If your shoulders are tight, just separate your hands. Keep sinking low. And as you exhale, just interlace your fingers behind your back. Maybe change the interlace of your fingers this time. Take the other hand on top. Roll your shoulders back, open your chest, look up. Exhale, humble warrior. Left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. As you inhale, keep the deep bend in your left knee. Sweep your arms up and out to warrior two. Find your strong, stable position, reaching in opposite directions. Maybe you can sink a little bit lower in your left leg. Again, catch that glimmer of light on your fingernails. Maybe a ring, glimmering. Maybe sink a little lower. Inhale, flip your left hand up towards the ceiling. Reach back to reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Left forearm to your left thigh. Right arm comes over your ear. Make sure your rib cage is pulled in. Belly button to spine. And you can stay here or lower your left hand down to the floor or to a block. Maybe you can take a bind, right hand behind you, left arm comes through. If you tried it on the other side, why not try it again on this side? Right, my one side might be tighter than the other, it's normal. So we just try. One more breath here. Good, on your next inhale, release your bind and stand all the way up, straight legs. Good. Turn all ten toes to the right side of your mat. Toes point in, heels point out. And exhale, take your hands to your hips again. Inhale, belly button to spine. Lift your spine taller towards the ceiling. As you exhale, try to catch your big toes as you fold forward. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to fold. Good. Reach the crown of your head towards the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest. Gaze towards your navel. And see if you can shift more weight into the balls of your feet. Again, you want to feel like the heels could float up eventually. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Deep breaths. Calm mind. 
One more breath. Good. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale there. Inhale, hands to your waist. Rise all the way back up. Extend your arms back out to a T and turn your left toes to face the top of your mat. Exhale, fold into your left hip joint and reach down for your Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Left hand somewhere on your left leg, right arm reaches up. Maybe you can catch your big toe or take your hand to a block. Keep opening your chest. Find your strong, stable position. Engage through your pelvic floor. Shoulders are back over your hips. And you can stay here or why not? Let's try that half moon on this side. So you can take your hand or your block, a couple of inches in front of your left toes, shift all of your weight into your left leg. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you can come to your sugar cane, bend your right knee and catch your right foot. Good. Push your foot into your hand and push your hand into your foot so you really feel that deep stretch across your right hip flexor. Find your stable balance, your drishti, your gaze is at one single point, maybe the tip of your nose, maybe just somewhere unmoving on your mat. And then as you exhale, slowly with control, bend into your left knee, reach your right leg back down, come back to your warrior two. Good, inhale, reach back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands over your left foot and either just step back to a downward dog or take your vinyasa, up to you. And deep breath here. Again, you're welcome to take a child's pose for a moment to catch your breath. And let's all meet back in a downward dog. Inhale, rise to your toes. Walk or dump your feet to your hands and lift halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips to your heels. Come back to your chair pose. Good. Exhale, take your hands to prayer. Keep your knees bent, sink a little bit lower. Open your chest. Exhale, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and open your chest to the right. You might want to have a block nearby. Good. So maybe you can split your hands, maybe take your left hand to a block or to the floor. We're going to shift all of our weight into our right leg and step your left foot back to a twisted lunge. Good. So you can keep your hands in prayer or extended, maybe taking a bind. Good. So this is a good place for a block if you feel like you have trouble balancing here, it's okay. And then inhale, pull your belly button to your spine, rise up to your high lunge, open through your heart. Good guys, doing great. Exhale, lower your hands down around your right foot. And as you inhale, shift your way back to your left foot and reach your right leg up to a three-legged dog. Exhale, take your right knee to your right elbow little strength action, right? Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, take your knee over to your left elbow. Pause here and come onto the right pinky toe edge of your foot and extend your left arm up and back, opening through your heart, fall in triangle. Inhale, come back around to reach your right leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, stack your right hip on top of the left, and you can stay here or keep reaching your right toe around to flip your dog. Open your hips, open through your shoulders, look back towards your hand. Inhale, come back through a center, back to your three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee into your nose, round your spine, really deep crunch, and then 
Externally rotate your right leg, take your right toes behind your left wrist, lower your right knee down behind your right wrist. Coming to our pigeon pose, extend the left leg straight back behind you. If you have a hip floating off the floor, a block is a good option to place underneath that hip. Okay. If you don't have a block, a pillow is also a good option. Flex your right foot. Inhale, let's walk our hands back. Open your chest. And as you exhale, walk your hands forward. Maybe you can lower down to your forearms. Relax your upper body. Check in with your mind. What's it telling you right now? Are your thoughts helpful or are they harmful? Are they positive or negative? Let's come back to the positive. Just come back to your breath. Maybe you can lower all the way down. Deep, full breaths here. See if you can shift more weight to your left. Just stay for one more breath. Good, as you inhale, start to walk your hands back in. And again, let's bend the left knee. We'll reach around and take the left foot in your left hand. Good. If you have a strap, that could be helpful as well if it's hard to reach the foot. And gently guide the heel closer to your left hip if you can. Good, so just Push to your edge, but not too much, right? Be careful. If it feels easy for you, you want to go deeper, you can hook your foot in your elbow and reach around to catch your hands, maybe for a mermaid. <laughs> so good. And exhale, just release that. Lower your hands and your leg back down. Inhale, tuck your back toes, lift your knee. Exhale, step back to your down dog. Inhale, rise to your toes, look forward, step or jump your feet between your hands, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips towards your heels, reach your arms back up, press your palms together, come to your chair. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, open your heart. Exhale, sink even lower and take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Good. You can even take a fist with your left hand, take it into the palm of your right hand and spin your chest open more, stacking your left shoulder back on top of the right. Good. And again, you can maybe split your hands. Right hand comes down, maybe take your right hand to a block. Shift all your weight to your left side and step the right leg back. Keep your chest open, hands wherever is good for you. Maybe prayer, maybe block. Maybe you can take your bind. Feel good about wherever you are. And on your next inhale, just unravel and rise up to a high lunge. Chest open. Exhale, hands down around your left foot. Inhale, shift your weight back to your right leg and sweep your left leg up to your three-legged dog. Exhale, take your left knee to your left elbow. Try chaturanga arms. Build a little strength there. Good, inhale, reach back up to your three-legged dog. Exhale, take your knee over to your right elbow. Pause there and then extend your left leg out. Come to the left pinky toe and reach your right arm up and back. Inhale, come back to your three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your left knee and stack the left hip on top of the right. Stay here or reach your toe 
all the way around, flip your dog, come see your wild thing, or whatever you call this pose, a lot of different names. <laughs> Rockstar, wild thing, it's all like cool, wild things. <laughs> Inhale, reach back up, lost an AirPod. So your three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee to your nose, externally rotate your leg and lower your left toes behind your right wrist. Come to your pigeon. So if it feels really intense, your pigeon, take your heel a little bit closer in towards your groin. Otherwise, if you wanna go deeper, your left leg is parallel to the top of your mat. Flex your left foot. Again, if your hip is floating off the floor, take a block underneath your hip. And let's walk your hands back, open your chest, come to a proud pigeon. And then exhale, start to walk your hands out in front of your left leg. Just as much as you can. Either lower down to your forearms or your hands. Just breathe. Relax. This is one of those poses that can be really emotionally intense, right? It could bring up feelings from your past could bring up negative emotions or strong feelings. We often hold a lot of those kind of feelings and emotions in our hips. So don't worry if that happens, but we just do our best not to add on to the story. So we come back to the anchor of our breath. Maybe you can fold a little bit deeper. Just try not to fight the pose. Just do your best to stay with a calm mind. Just one more breath. And on your next inhale, start to walk your hands back. Open your chest. Good, bend the right knee. Reach around, maybe catch the right foot in your right hand if it's available for you. Maybe if you have a strap, take the strap around your right foot. And as you exhale, just gently guide your right heel closer to your right hip. Just wherever you can, right? If you start to feel any pinching or sharp shooting sensations in your knee, you definitely know to back off and stop. If not, if you wanna go deeper, take the right foot in the elbow of your right arm and reach your left arm up and back. It might be more accessible on one side than the other. All good, just try, stay, breathe. One more inhale, you're all doing really well. Exhale, lower your hands down, lower your leg back down. Good, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up, and exhale, step back to your down dog. Inhale, rise to your toes, walk or jump your feet to your hands and lift halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips to your heels, reach your arms up overhead, come to your chair pose one more time. And exhale, stand all the way up. Lower your arms down by your sides. Take one deep breath there. Good. Inhale, let's shift all of our weight to our left leg. Hug your right knee into your chest. Good. Squeeze the right knee into your chest. Belly buttons to spine, shoulders back, stand up tall. Good. And then here, take your hands to your waist. You can keep the knee bent or maybe straighten your right leg out. Find that balance. Good, and exhale with control, bend your knee. And then take your foot behind you and catch it with your right hand. It's the moment we've been working up to all of class. Here we go, reach your left arm up, connect your index finger and your thumb and push your foot into your hand. We find our dancer's pose. Find your one stable point of focus. Maybe it's the tip of your nose, maybe it's 
There's a little red spot on the wall in front of me, right? I'm going to just try to look at that. Try to keep your hips square, open through your shoulders. Just find your balance. And on your next inhale, slowly with control, bring your knees back together. And exhale, release your hands, release your arms and legs back down. You can give your leg a little shake. How'd that go? Yeah? Good job. And let's hug the left knee in. Shift all of your weight to your right standing leg. Just hug your left knee to your chest. Just find that balance. Already find your drishti, right? Your stable point of focus. It could be the tip of your nose, or maybe it's a spot on the wall, something not moving. Good. Hold your knee to your chest. Take your hands to your waist. And you can stay here or extend your left leg out in front of you. Maybe you can see your toes. Hello, toes. Exhale, bend your knee back to your chest. Take your foot behind you and catch it with your left hand. Take your knees together, reach your arm up, connect your index finger and your thumb. And with control, push your left foot into your left hand. You can send your chest forward just a little bit, as much as you need to, to get your leg up higher. Try to keep your steady gaze, steady focus, just try. Hips as square as possible towards the front of your mat. Keep pushing, keep balancing, keep feeling. And on your next inhale, take your knees back together. And exhale, release, lower your arms back down and give it a little shake. I'm so proud of you for just trying. Awesome job. We'll make our way down to our mat. Inhale, arms reach up, press your palms together. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, head up. Exhale, step or jump back. Low push-up, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And now let's all lower our knees. Untuck your toes, shift your hips to your heels, come to a child's pose. Come back to your breath. Full deep breaths in and out through your nose. Whatever happened in your standing pose, whatever happened, doesn't matter. Just let go, right? Come back. It's that feeling of peace and happiness that's deep within your heart. And on your next inhale, let's slowly roll all the way up vertebrae by vertebrae, coming to sit on your heels. Head comes up last. Good. Shift your hips off to one side. Swing your legs around in front of you. Straight legs. Just remove the flesh from your seat. Flex your feet. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And exhale to a forward fold. You can just hold wherever you can reach, wherever your hands fall, right? Maybe it's your toes, your feet, maybe your shins. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, really pull your belly button to your spine and fold over your legs as much as you can. Deep breath. Keep your legs a little bit active here, pressing out through the balls of your feet. Release any tension in your shoulders. You can keep a slight bend in your knees here. Take one more full breath in through your nose. Full breath out. Good. Inhale, just lengthen. Let's halfway up. Exhale there. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bend your right knee into your chest. Take your right hand behind you. Inhale, reach your left arm up. 
and exhale, twist to the right. Take your whole body over to the right. Hook your left elbow around the outside of your right knee and look over your right shoulder. Sit up really tall, lengthening from the base of your spine through the crown of your head. As you exhale, maybe twist a little bit deeper. Stay for one more breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale as you twist. Good. Inhale, come back through center, and exhale, release the right leg. Inhale, bend your left knee in towards your chest. Take the left hand down behind your left hip. Reach your right arm up, and as you exhale, really twist your whole body to the left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Press out through the ball of your right foot. Inhale, lift up taller, lifting from the base of your spine, and exhale, twist, look over your left shoulder. Good. Inhale, sit up a little bit taller, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more full breath in. One more exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, come back around through center and hug both knees in towards your chest. Let's hold on behind your thighs. I do this every class, right? It's so important, my favorite, Navasana. So roll onto your sacrum, point your toes, and float your feet up off the floor. Coming to our boat pose. Maybe you can let go, reach your arms out in front of you. Just find the version that works best for you today. So maybe that's enough, or maybe you can straighten your legs, lift your chest to your thighs, and hold for five breaths. One, two, breathe through your nose, three, four, five. Now we take five counts slower all the way down to our backs. Ready? One, two, three, slowly, four. And five, exhale, lower all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest and rock gently side to side. Good, lower your feet down to the floor. Knees point up towards the ceiling. Feet are separated, hips width apart. Lower your hands down, fingertips graze your heels. So maybe walk your feet in a little bit closer. And come to a bridge. Inhale, tuck your tailbone under. Slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. And you can stay here or come up higher, tucking your shoulder blades under more. Maybe interlace your fingers, stretch your arms out long. And you can stay here or go to a full wheel pose if that's in your practice. Fingers come towards your shoulders. Press up. Whatever's better for you today. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And let's hug your knees back into your chest one more time. Good, send both knees over to the right. Extend your left arm out and look over your left shoulder. Inhale, knees come back to your chest. Exhale, knees to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, knees back up to your chest. Separate your knees, hold on to the outer edges of your feet. Come to a happy baby, rocking gently side to side. Reach your sacrum towards the floor. Maybe you want to come to a little ninja baby, stretch one leg and then the other. Just release the hamstrings one more time. And hug your knees back together. 
Give yourself a big squeeze. Thank your body for everything it's done for you. Thank your body for working hard for you this morning. You can really tuck your nose to your knees. Give yourself a big loving squeeze. And as you exhale, lower all the way down to our final relaxation. Let your legs be wide. Take up space. Let yourself be big. Close your eyes. Flip your palms to face the ceiling, receiving universal energy and positivity. Take a few moments to rest. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. Take a moment to scan through your whole body, every part of your body, and thank each part of your body, starting with the top of your head, your face, going all the way through every body part, thanking each part of your body for everything it does for you every day, taking care of you, It'd be quite difficult without any of these parts. And so gratitude for each part of your body. And when you feel ready, you can begin to reawaken. Wiggling your fingers and your toes, circling through your wrists and ankles. Taking one big final morning stretch, reaching your arms back over your head, reaching long from your fingers to your toes. And as you exhale, slowly roll over onto one side, find a fetal position for a few breaths. Yeah. Press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together at the center of your heart. Take a moment to recall your intention from the beginning of our practice. Call to mind one more thing you're grateful for today. Notice the feeling of peace and happiness that naturally arises from our yoga practice and from practicing gratitude and mindfulness. I hope that you will carry these seeds of peace with you throughout the rest of your day and every day of your life. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.